Ah, welcome back to the channel. I am working on the Falcon Miata again. So I got a new thermostat and gasket. Um, be amazed, no one's really carrying these anymore. Um, I guess 1990, right? So put in the new gasket. Uh, use some silicone. Going to give it a day or two to dry. Then I'm going to pressure check the radiator because it was leaking water from somewhere out of the radiator um, by the peacock valve. But I think it was above it, so one of the tubes may have, yeah, popped its seam. Oh, and then I added the heater core. So let me flip this around. Yay! 90 straight out of the firewall. That tube there is from a Honda. Does a nice, uh, you yeah. know. 180 and that's just normal 5 8 heater hose. It's a nice sweeping bend So it made the made the bend no kinks Then I added 90 into the firewall as I just showed you and connect to the heater hose Then I'm working on the sound deadening so Along with other heater issues, uh, let's go back. So I am using this aluminum waterproof repair tape so this stuff, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, it's six inches by 25 feet. It did enough to do my floor. So definitely helps. And then I added my seatbelt uh, locations because this car didn't have any. Well, it did, but not factory. So uh, as you can see, I uh, drilled a couple small holes Rosary welded the big washer slash nut to the back of it, just like this guy here. So yeah, that's a that's a meaty washer, and a big nut, and yeah. So seatbelt mounting points, sound nettings going in. Like my other video, there's my Miata cluster in the in the factory cluster which I had to make like an extra inch almost wider, but whatever, it bolted up, looks great. My heater uh, defrost here for feet slash defrost, um, I just caught, doesn't fit because the tunnel's in the way. So I came up with this contraption of a Spectre intake tube that I had left over from the buggy, cut the end off, um, put some screws through it, as you can see. So, and then some, you know, high temp aluminum tape. So, that should be fine. And then I'll probably throw a coat of paint on it. Um, so yeah, sound deadening compared to. And I need to put some back there. So I need another roll of this. I think it was like 20 bucks. So you do the math there. Um, I spent 40 bucks and I covered six inches by 50 feet so that's enough to do both halves of my car um but i need one more roll to do the tunnel and then you know um just like my buggy i might do double layers because in certain parts there was definitely way more sound deadening um in other spots oh and you should probably use a heat gun so i got this ancient uh, Black and Decker, but it works. Um, so the stuff when it's cold because it is like 60 in the garage. No, we're actually uh, 50s. So it's not really tacky. So you heat it up with the the heat gun there until it gets shiny black. It becomes tacky. Don't get 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 too carried away because it does melt and get really really sticky and starts pulling apart but you just need to heat it up roll it on apply some more heat and then rub it in with a you know damp towel maybe and boom you get sound deadening on the cheap or you know if you're a baller you know go get the uh oh what's that paint i forget what the paint's called but uh yeah they sell uh sound deadening paint but it would have been like 800 bucks for that shit. So I decided to go the cheap route. And I, in the past, have bought Henry's roofing membrane that was one foot by 40. But they didn't have that this time. But they had it with the aluminum tape. So there's some more uh, 
heat uh, uh, deflection. And I'll probably put some inside the, the quarter panels and whatnot because there's nothing there probably anyways. But anyways, uh, thanks for liking, subscribing. Hope you're liking how it's coming out. Um, till next time, uh, happy holidays, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Christmas, New Year's, whatever other holidays there is. If I don't have a channel or another video on the channel by then. So peace out. Take care, people.